The goal of data analysis is to answer real business questions. And two of the best things you can use for this in SQL is order by and limit. So I want to show you a data set and I want to show you some real examples that you can get the most out of order by and limit in SQL. This is an Austin crime data set. And really what we want to do is kind of ask some real business questions from this crime data set using limit and order by. So the first query here is we want to see which year I had the most incidents by primary type. So we're looking at primary type and year, and we're looking at a order by counting incidents descending. And what this will do is this will count the incidents in descending order. So you can see the amount of incidents I've had here by year, and this is the most to least. So if you're asked the question of in 2015, what had the most? The answer is theft, then followed by burglary. We can also do ascending on the order by so it'll be what were the least and these were the least here by year you can use this for times as well so what i want to know from this query is what were the 10 last crimes that took place and what was the primary type and address of those crimes so i'm selecting primary type address and timestamp and i'm ordering those by timestamp descending so that'll give me the latest crime first and limit is what i'm bringing in here i am getting the 10 uh, last crimes so when i run this I can see that the 10 last crimes were theft and they took place on the 31st day of December in 2016. Next thing I want to see is what are the top 10 primary types in the data set. What I'm doing here is I'm selecting primary type. I'm doing a count of crimes. I'm grouping those by primary type. I'm ordering them by crime code descending and I'm limiting that to 10. And the result that comes out is I know what my top 10 crimes in the entire data set across all year are. So very, very important is that we do a group by, order by, and a count or a sum. And that from that, you'll be able to see what was the most common occurrence in the data set. And also this is used for, for money, so profit for sales, if you want to sum that up. Next one we want to look at is, I want to also bring in a where clause here. So I want to see what district had the most heft, and I'm going to order that by theft count ascending, and I want the top three. So what I can do here is I can filter out the primary type as theft, and then I can group that by district, and this will give me the top three districts by crime, so I can see district D, B, and A had the most. The last thing I want to show you is using multiple order buys in the same statement. So in this case, we're looking at the primary type of crime, the year, the district, and a count of those, and we're grouping those. So we're getting the count in here, but we're looking to order by year, district, and count. So what this will give us is an ordered list starting off with the year, then the district, then the count, and then we'll move on to the next year district and count so let me run this and show you what i mean so we've got 2016 so this data set's ordered by 2016 and it's running through all the districts and then it's running through the crimes from highest count to lowest count so that's how you can use multiple order buys in the same statement and what this is really useful for is just ordering the data for human use so, so people don't have to take raw data into their spreadsheets and do the ordering themselves so this is a nice little tip to make the data more usable so as you can see from these examples order Order by and limit make it really easy to answer business questions and they're a lot more powerful than you would think they are. Hope you found this useful. Follow for more.